we're going to be drawing a train track and roads on this piece of paper, which you can use to play with at home. We will need paper, a ruler, crayons, matte pencils, and you'll need markers and some trains and some cars and any other vehicle you have at home, like the ones I have here. And throughout this video, we will be discussing lines and shapes, such as circles, horizontal and vertical lines, squares, X shapes, cross shapes, curves, rectangles, dashes, and parallel lines. Knowing how to recognize and use lines and shapes develops a child's pre-writing skills which will lead to the development of handwriting. Now I'm going to measure the train and the car, which are one inch in diameter. And since they are one inch in diameter, and the ruler is also one inch in diameter, I'm going to use the ruler as my template in drawing the road and the railroad on this map. Look, it's two vertical lines. Okay, I'm gonna freehand this part. So this could be our entrance, and then I can make some little dotted lines. Show up our road. These are dashes. And that's a curvy line. Make an entrance here. We have two parallel lines and another two parallel lines going this way in order to make a cross shape. I'm going to use the ruler and I'm going to make a train track. And we have used, we have made squares right here. We have a couple of squares. So we've made curves. You use curves when you make a U or a J. This is a horizontal line. This going this way, going up is a vertical line. First I'm gonna go over the railroad and I'm gonna use this brown marker for the railroad. Okay, now I'm going to fill in the roads with a black marker. I'm gonna use a Sharpie. Now I'm going to get two matte, two brown matte pencils in order to make my, my tracks. So I'm just going to make them across. Pull them in. Look, these two lines are parallel lines and vertical lines. of our train he fits. Okay, I believe we finished our train track. 
Now we need to add the dashes to the rows, okay? Okay, now we're going to make our railroads crossing sides. So we're going to make a rectangle and then three little circles. Our first circle is going to be red. Then we'll have green. And then we'll have yellow. Now I'm going to draw some stop signs. We'll put a stop sign right here. And you can write stop with this marker right here. The stop sign will be treated as a one-way stop because the road will be a one-way road. And the car will stop at the stop sign and then it will stop at the railroad crossing as you can see. Beep, beep. See how the train goes down the railroad track? I'm going to color the road with this black map pencil and I'm going to press down very lightly. Make another railroad crossing sign. And I'm going to make some more stop signs. And now I'm going to use a green crayon to add grass to the map. We'll call this uh, George Street after George Memorial Library. We can call this the GML Railroad. All right, guys, we're finished making our road map. We've made our railroad, and we've also made a street with street signs, stop signs, and railroad crossing signs. I hope you can have as much fun as I am. Beep, beep. Go fast, go fast, go fast. Slow. Fast, 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 fast. Slow. Fast. Choo, choo. Choo, 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 choo. Okay, bye, guys.